Okay, class, here we're going to talk over some basics and uh, launch our first program. So I have the screen set up with an empty Python file on the left and then the idle shell on the right. Now, I'm going to highlight idle and focus on that. Uh, it's free, it's downloaded, uh, the book walks you through it. The book focuses on idle, so that's what I'll be focusing on and leveraging throughout this uh, class. I'll be jumping between a Windows environment and a Linux environment, but I'll, I'll maintain using idle. Now, can you use a different scripted environment? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Notepad++ with the proper modules, um, PyCharm, uh, VS Code with the Python modules loaded, you know, have at it, experiment, you know, use more than one, uh, see which one you like best, and, you know, roll with it. Um, pro tip, um, I leverage Vim or Emacs or Nano, probably Nano the most on a Linux machine. Uh, a lot of the scripts that I have to write are on servers that don't have uh, scripting environments on it. You know, it lowers the security footprint as well. So, you know, you just get used to writing good scripts in a text editor. And, you know, it, if it becomes a lengthy program, you know, maybe, you know, it's best to use an integrated scripting environment. But I'll be honest, I use a lot of real simple things, mostly nano. But this class, we're going to focus on idle. So without further ado, let's get going. Let's uh, print hello world, right? The print function. Functions show up in purple. Quotes. Hello. See my bad typing. I'll we'll just do hello world straight. Hello world exclamation point, hit enter, boom. Prints, prints out, standard output. Um, you notice I use double quotes in the beginning and end of the argument for the print function. Hello world, the type of it is a string. We'll get That'll make more sense later on and uh, hopefully be more clear on how Python is objective and the, the type of object matters. But if uh, you leverage print and you give it a single quote and type hello and then a double quote and then close it, you're going to get a syntax error. EOL is end of line error. So this command was never completed because our single quote was never closed. So I hit the up arrow, hit enter. So rule of thumb is if you start with a single, end with a single, start with a double, end with a double. And you could wrap them inside one another and so on. We're going to run through a bunch of different scenarios like that. But you see it does the same thing as our double prints it out. No issues. So the print command. It's purple. Let's pop it over here in our script, right? Let's just say print. We'll do the same thing, except we'll say hello again. And I'll just do a quick save here. We'll save under autumn. I'll do 252 underscore, we'll call it lesson 01, basics. Basics, and then I'll give it another number up here. Lesson 01, 01 underscore. Save it. From the, the idle file, you hit F5, you could run it. And you see that the idle shell lists the location of the script that ran and your output only. So if we do help, <coughs> excuse me, which is a function within Python, and then uh, we say print with double quotes and hit enter, you get basically the man page or the help page about the function. You'll see it's a built-in function, print, parentheses, print some value, has a, some other things you could run here, separator, end with, a new line, it has all kinds of fun stuff, file standard out. So there's a lot of things you can do with print. We're going to really tear print apart here in the next couple weeks, but help is one of your best friends, and you can also do help with just print and you see you get the same output. So 
once I did it with double quotes, once I did it with no quotes. As long as it is a, a valid built-in function or Python knows of the function, you will get your help page displayed. Excellent. So cool, there's help, there's print. We talked about quotes, single double quotes. Let's take a look at type. So type, if I just put the string hello and hit enter, calls back class string. The type of object that hello is, is a string, character set. If you do type on a two, you'll see the class type is an integer. So Python knows the variations between a string and an integer, as long as you type them incorrectly. Now, if you do type and you wrap your integer in quotes, and then hit enter, that integer no longer has a numeric value, but it's the string representing the numeric value. So the symbol is a two, which is a string. So we covered in this video, we talked about the idle, the operations, the print function, some basic quoting and uh, toss some errors, end of line error because of the mismatched quotes. And you see that within the Python um, editor itself, it never finalized the end of line or in other words, your open parentheses is black and your tailing one is still a string, unlike the first one, because it was typed incorrectly. And then uh, we covered the help function and basic type functionality. And that'll be it for this quick video.